us here, we have John Pitney, who owns the passive house that Cellar Ridge Construction is currently building in McMinnville, Oregon. Uh, John, if you have a few minutes, we'd like to ask you a few questions. Absolutely. Fabulous. So, what made you and your wife, Debbie, decide to build passive? Oh, that's easy. Uh, we've been working on sustainability issues um, in our communities and through our churches uh, for 30 years, and we've made it uh, we made it halfway to net zero um, in our last house in Eugene and in our church, and uh, so it's like now we're retiring. Um, it's time for us to go all the way and. Uh, with uh, everything that's happened in the world, uh, Paris Summit just now. Um, it's time for people who can to step up and help the countries of the world meet their climate agreements. So this doesn't sound like it was a decision that you both made on a whim. It's something that you're very passionate about and have lived out through much of your lives. Absolutely. It's like we're, we're retired. We'd love to have been able to do it before. But uh, but now we can, and at this point, it's like um, it's something we wouldn't not do. Just uh, it's, that's the way it is. Now, what made you choose Cellar Ridge Construction to build the house? Ah, uh, because the staff was so handsome. <laughs> I was just really, uh, frankly, I think I googled uh, green builders McMinnville, Oregon, and Cellar Ridge came up, and uh, on the site it showed the 50-50 homes or whatever that was, um, and I talked to John Mead on the phone right away and said, so we're moving, I um, think we could build a passive house, we're just talking really small and uh, he said sure <laughs> said they hadn't done that before exactly that way and so uh, that was pretty much it I mean first conversation I didn't need to talk to anybody else so we were hoping to hear a shared passion for rebuilding but <laughs> <laughs> Yes, exactly, exactly. No, I mean it. It was uh, it was it was so good to so easily find somebody who was already here in McMinnville doing it, because um, you know, along with making the net zero itself, it's also important for us to use local uh, workers.